Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. Today's video is the next in our Math and Minutes Algebra 1 series. We're going to be talking about simplifying expressions that involve exponents. So let's get started. If we have a problem like 2 to the 8th divided by 2 to the 5th, it's a pretty easy problem to solve. Because when you have the same base, in this case 2, all you do is you subtract the bottom exponent from the top. Top minus bottom. So this becomes 2 to the 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, and that is 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8. And that's your answer, 8. If you have a problem like 4 cubed times 11 squared, the easiest way to do that is to cube 4, which is 4 times 4, 16, times 4, 64, times 11 squared, which is 121. And off the top of my head, I, I can't tell you what 64 times 121 is, but my calculator can. And it is 7,744. Even if you're doing a problem where the bases are not the same, 2 to the 4th times 5 cubed over 7 squared, these really aren't very hard problems to solve. 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. If you have a calculator and you want to work it out in your calculator, it's 2. And you see this button that has x with a little exponent? That says raise it to this power. So 2 to the 4th is 16. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. And 7 squared is 49. Then you take 16 times 125 divided by 49. And your answer is 2,000 over 49. Now, if you want to change that to a decimal, just look for a key on your calculator that either says S arrow D or F arrow D and press it. And that tells you it's 40.82. So there's your answer. And it seems like these are pretty easy and pretty straightforward. And they are. But they can get involved. When they get involved, it's important that you take them one step at a time and that you don't get ahead of yourself. So for instance, this problem, 7 squared divided by negative 7, and then all of that is plus 9. Your order of operations tells you you're going to do what's in parentheses first, and you're going to do exponents. So 7 squared is 49 divided by negative 7 plus 9. 49 divided by negative 7 is negative 7, and negative 7 plus 9 is 2. So this simplifies to this. When negative signs are involved, it sometimes gets a little complicated. So make sure that if you're uncomfortable with negative signs and you're able to use a calculator, that you do use the calculator. Also remember your order of operations. Parentheses first and then exponents. So negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. And then multiplication and division from left to right. Well, this is addition. This is division. So I'm going to bring my 1 plus down. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And finally, 1 plus negative 1 is 0. So this simplifies to 0. But again, take it step by step and take your time. It's very easy to make mistakes with positive and negative numbers, with those integers. If you're going to make a mistake, that's probably where it's going to be, so go slow. So what happens when you have letters, variables, and integers together? 
Well, the easiest way to do it is to separate out the numbers from the letters. So this becomes 7 times 9 divided by 3. That's my numbers. And then I have a k from here, a k to the ninth from here, and a k from here. Now let's see if we can simplify this, if there's anything that's equivalent to 1 in here that we can basically cancel out before we move on. Well, I see I have a k and a k, so I can cancel those out. Now, I can multiply 9 times 7 and then divide it by 3. But I know that 3 is a factor of 9. So 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 three times. So now my problem becomes 7 times 3, k to the ninth. And that's my answer. So when you have numbers, variables, and letters in the same problem, separate it out. Let's do a couple more. 10 t to the seventh divided by t times 5 t squared. So let's look at the numbers. We have 10 in the numerator and 1 times 5 in the denominator, which is just 5. And then my t's, I have t to the seventh in the numerator, t in the denominator, and t squared in the denominator. So if I look at this 10 and 5, I know that 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now let's look at this. I have 7 t's in the numerator and 3 t's in the denominator, because remember that's a 1. Now you might be thinking, I thought I was supposed to multiply them together. That's only when you raise a power to a power, so only when you have parentheses. So 7 t's in the numerator, 3 t's in the denominator, and remember when you do this, it's the exponent on the top minus the exponent on the bottom, 7 minus 3 t to the fourth. Let's do another one. Actually, I think I want to do two more. Let's do two more. I want to make sure you really know what you're doing. 7n to the negative sixth times 5n to the zero times 2n to the eighth. And all of that is over 7n to the fifth. Now let's pull our numbers out. 7 times 5 times 2, and that's all over 7. Our exponents, our variables, n to the negative sixth, n to the zero, n to the eighth, and n to the fifth in the bottom. So the first thing I see is 7 and 7. I have 7 over 7, which is 1. 5 times 2 is 10, so my numbers are going to end up being 10. But now let's look at this. I have negative 6 plus 0. And by the way, n to the 0 is just 1. We can get rid of that altogether. So n to the 6th, negative 6, n to the 8th. I can add the 8 and the negative 6 together and get n squared over n to the 5th. Now I'm going to do my trick where I take top exponent minus bottom exponent. 2 minus 5 is n to the negative 3. And while this is a correct answer, a lot of teachers don't like to see negative exponents. So remember, whenever your negative exponent, whenever you have a negative exponent, that just means it's on the wrong side of the line. So n, 10n to the negative third is simply 10 over n cubed, or n to the third. Let me turn my page here because I have one more problem I wanted to go over. We have, ready, 4 u to the fourth, v to the fourth, w to the sixth, over four, u to the ninth, v to the zero, w to the zero, times u to the negative third, v, and w to the zero power. The first thing I recommend is just get rid of those ones to the zero power because that's a one. That's a one. Second thing, look at your numbers. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I don't need to worry about that. So now let's see what we've got. We've got u to the 4th, v to the 4th, w to the 6th, over what? Here I have 9 u's minus 3 u's, 
is u to the sixth and v. What exponent is next to that v? It's a one. So what are we going to do from here? Well, you take top number minus bottom number for each of these individual exponents. Four minus six is u to the negative two. Or you can say four minus six is two, but because six is a larger number, I'm going to put it on the same side of the fraction as the larger number. v to the fourth, v to the first, four minus one is three, four is bigger, so I'm going to put it up here, and then w to the sixth. And that is your answer. It looks really involved, it is really involved, it's important that you take it step by step. Don't let yourself get too confused about it, go slowly and you'll be fine. If you have questions about variables with exponents or anything related to Algebra 1, please feel free to leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Have a great day.